Hi ladies, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back. So today I figured I would do finish up my segment of my skincare uh, regimen. Um, I had shared a video not long ago where I did my AM and my PM skincare routine and I told you guys that I was going to do um, each week of um, some of the different products that I use. If you guys would like to see, I am going to do my cleansers and face scrubs. And if you'd like to see what cleansers and face scrubs and products that I use and my thoughts and are they repurchases, then keep on watching. So, face cleansers. This one here I actually had shared and I don't want to make this a really long video so I'm not going to get too full in depth with a lot of the products. If there's a product that you're interested in knowing my opinion and want more of a review, let me know down below and I'd be happy to do that for you guys. So Mario Badescu, you know how I feel about a lot of his products and I did show you before the orange cleansing cream. Love this stuff. This is a repurchase. It's a more creamy based cleanser. Um, it melts away the makeup. It is a really, really good cleanser. It is for any skin type. It's the Garnier Clean uh, Nourishing Cleansing Oil. This has, um, I believe, jojoba and macadamia oils in it. And it is a repurchase. I've purchased it several different times. Um, I have tried other cleansing oils, Tatcha, which has been a really good cleansing oil, I think. Um, it's just really pricey. The other one, Josie Marion, uh, I tried hers. The only, the only thing with that one, I felt like it turned my skin a little bit red. Or so I had some kind of reaction to it. I don't know. Um, and this one's like uh, five, six dollars. I forget how much. And it works just as good, I feel. So might as well go for the one that's, you know, of course, more affordable. And if you want to save money, we're going to get into some cleansers that have some exfoliating beads in them, but they're not too harsh or anything like that. Um, this one here, it's another Garnier product. This is the Balancing Daily Exfoliator, which you can use this every single day. This is for combination skin. It purifies the T-zone and softens the dry areas. Grapefruit and pomegranate um, is in this. Another repurchase, I really have liked this. Some of the Garnier skincare have worked really good for me. Um, this one is a really great one because it does balance out the areas that you need, like the dry patchy areas that you might have or the oily areas that you have or anything like that. I do have combination skin. My skin can be every which place. It does have just very small micro beads, but it's nothing where you feel it's scratchy or anything. They're just, they're noticeable, but they're not scratchy. They're not scratching scratching your skin or anything like that. This is from Oil of Olay. This is the Pure pure Pore Minimizer. Uh, it's a cleanser and a scrub. Um, this also is another one that I feel is gentle enough to use almost every single day. I don't feel, it's not harsh on the skin. It's not real scratchy. This one's maybe a little bit more noticeable, but it's not um, extreme. It has like a swirl in there. You can see like a cream cleanser and a gel cleanser kind of thing in there. So I am getting up to the nitty gritty there. Um, and it is a pretty affordable cleanser. I really like it. The scent's really nice. Um, I haven't repurchased this, but I would repurchase this. This is one I would repurchase. I love this stuff and this would definitely be a repurchase. I haven't repurchased it, but it will be a repurchase for sure. It's from the uh, Boschka, Boschka, I'm not sure how you pronounce that company, for sure, but is the Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Oh my goodness, this stuff, this stuff is pretty amazing. It warms up and heats up a little bit on your skin. It's not like extreme, but it just, it warms up and heats up on your skin and, and everything and you just work it in. It doesn't suds up or anything like that. It just uh, gently it cleans around on your face and it feels so slick and smooth. It, it just feels really amazing. I have noticed a difference when I use this. It's the detoxifying 
um, black cleanser. This company reached out to me and I've never heard of them. They did send me this product. They sent me this in a moisturizer, which upcoming video and a little more in depth maybe or review uh, will be coming up on them. They didn't ask me to, but it's something I probably might do. Scalacy, is that Scal? Calacy, Scalacy. I am not quite sure. I know on QVC they seem to have it uh, on there. And this is a cleanser and exfoliator. Oh my goodness, this is pretty, pretty nice. The packaging is gorgeous, of course. They're more like in a purpley periwinkle, uh, you know. But it is a really nice cleanser. It's, it's like a thick gel, and it does have those microbeads in it. But it's so gentle, um, and you really feel it is cleaning and exfoliating your skin really nice. I'll probably get more in depth in it in another video, but yeah, it's really nice. This is Mario Badescu uh, Almond and Honey Non Abrasive Face Scrub. This has definitely been a repurchase. My husband and I both love this. It smells amazing for one. You can totally smell the almond scent. I love the smell of almonds anyway. And it's kind of, um, it's like a clay uh, substance. And then there's actual almonds, real almonds crushed in there that exfoliates your skin. It's pretty, pretty cool, pretty amazing. I like a lot of his products. Again, Mario Desco, I really do. And this is gentle enough. It's not another one that's, it's another one that's gentle enough for any, I feel any skin type can use. I don't feel it's something that would irritate your skin or anything like that. And if you love the smell of almonds, you'd love that. So definitely repurchase. And this product I had gotten off of Sephora and I don't know if they're discontinuing it or something like that because I'm not quite seeing it really on the site or anything else and it was one of those ones where it was like on sale for like a cheaper price it's from the company Coors which I do like Coors I like some of their products it is a kiwi gentle exfoliating scrub for dry skin um, and it smells very nice very very nice I can see the substance coming out a little bit now it says gentle exfoliator I don't find any problem with it, but you can feel the, the, um, be the, probably I'm going to guess it's the seeds from a kiwi maybe or something. You can feel it. It is kind of scratchy. It doesn't irritate my skin or bother me, but if you are somebody with sensitive skin or something like that, you probably wouldn't like this product and find it too irritating. I would go for more of the other ones that I showed earlier than this kind of product. So, but I really like it from Coors. I probably would repurchase it if they still have it, but I don't know. They might be discontinuing it, so I'll have to look into that. You probably heard me talk about Queen Helene. I have gotten quite a few products from the company, and there's two face scrubs especially that I really like a lot that I do re have repurchased several different times. Um, this one is the Refining Pomegranate and Raspberry Natural Scrub. It says it resurfaces resurface. Can I speak today? No, I can't. It says resurfaces and refines. A lot of them have a look like a mud mask kind of substance. It does, you can smell like the pomegranate. I'm not sure if I can smell the raspberry, but you can smell the pomegranate in it. It is very nice. It is one that is kind of a more scratchy feeling on your skin. Like you can really feel it really exfoliating and getting all the dead skin off and everything and whatnot. Um, but I like it. Like it doesn't irritate my skin or my, my face or anything like that. I love this product. And probably my favorite one out of the two. This is my most favorite my most favorite, nothing like getting up close to you guys, is the Oatmeal and Honey Natural Face Scrub. This one gently helps to remove the dull surface layer of your skin. This has been, I probably repurchased, this is probably my fifth time repurchasing it. It is my favorite um, face scrub. I, it is amazing, especially for people for dry skin 
definitely it is amazing product for the price four or five bucks or something like that again you can smell the natural you know it, they they have the natural scents sort of like Mario Badescu you know natural scents and everything okay and then two items I'm going to share with you guys that I use sometimes and they're kind of like tools or whatever that I use to exfoliate my skin this here I got at Walmart it's like a little mini face scrub kind of a thing they're made out of silicone and it has um, on the upper part here it almost reminds me of the brush cleaner things that you see and it has like little um, soft bristly kind of things here and then up here it has it looks like um, I'm not sure how well you can see there we go like a little goose bumpy looking things up there and you just put it in between your fingers like so we use my Mario Abdescu cleanser put it on here and then go ahead and do the circular movements with it and just work it all around it really works in through the nose area and just work it all over the place it is a really nice they're like a dollar 96 almost two dollars I got a two pack anyway um, I really I'm gonna definitely repurchase these these are really great tools I have heard some say they use their theirs to actually clean some of their makeup brushes too which I can see why because it does kind of remind me of that but it is a neat tool for a low price so if you're somebody that wants to um, kind of get into the pores more and exfoliate or scrub and everything and you don't want to use any maybe those face scrubs you just want to use your regular cleanser I would say get this little guy here and like I said you can give it a two pack I got mine at Walmart I'm sure you can maybe look online but just just love these things and check your Walmart at least your local Walmart and then lastly is a product that I had gotten I'd done a review a good while back ago um, it was on the washi cloth um, it was from I think I think the company is called Lu Lucris, L-U-C-R-I-S, I believe. They're located in England. I can put a link down to that video down below. Um, also, Natalie, the beauty diva, she had talked about them quite a bit. Um, if you go on their site, you'll see her video on there. Um, I can probably put a link down to their site and everything because her video is on there too. She has talked about them quite a bit. But this is actually the polishing um, towels that you can order from there. Um, these are really, really nice. Like after you cleanse your face and everything and your face is still kind of damp and wet and you can just take one of these and kind of just do like a circular motion and really work it along on your face and it feels really amazing so I've been doing this um, and especially especially using the polishing cloth I have to say what I have noticed for myself is um, it's one it's one of those items that helps my acne scarring like kind of helps diminish it I don't know it works all in conjunction with everything else I just really like them um, and they seem to have really nice products because as much as I do my makeup my skincare products are starting to grow which is good I will put my AM PM skincare routine down below so you can hear me discuss more on what I do what I rotate and all that good stuff um, if you're interested all right so I really appreciate you guys watching and thank you so much if you are not subscribed to my channel I would love to have it. you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and you can join me each week and also if you liked this video please give it a like give it a thumbs up that would help me out so much and just make me happy also before I go on my closing note next week I will have some more of my skincare um products of what i use and everything it'll probably be more skin treatment so maybe serums and masks and things like that anything that has to do with skin treatment i will have that up next week so if you're interested stay tuned always remember beauties please be yourself 
love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. I will see you then. I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye.